Hi. I just started a YouTube channel about IVF and the dark sides of IVF. My experiences with IVF. Right now, I it's a police investigation going on for the theft of my embryos. Uh, I did everything I could. I contacted Anthony, a house father. He told me, make a police report. I told him they refused. He goes, use my name. I did. They finally took a police report. The police officer refused to, uh, to investigate the detective. There's two new investigators on the case. Right now, there is no law with IVF. I contacted the health minister. He told me not even Justin Trudeau could help me. There is no law. We need reform. Reform means passing a law on new technology. IVF is considered new technology. With all technology, there's abuses. Giving embryos away or selling them without the recipient's consent is wrong. We're supposed to be protected. There is no protection. The doctors can do whatever they want. Like my doctor said, it's a clinical decision. I'll make it up to you. How are you going to make something up when you give away my child? I Right now, there's so many abuses in the system, and we need to take care of it. I did conceive my son. I did conceive my daughter with another $32,000 for that cycle. It does not get, let him off. Right now, I want everybody to get together. Call your government and tell them we need reform on IVF. We need databases for donor children. Ovum, sperm donor, combined embryo donation, or theft of embryos. If it's not your genetic material, it has to be registered in that. To stop abuses that are happening. There's so many abuses that are happening. You're just not aware of it. If you know someone that's doing IVF, warn them that they're not protected. Their embryos are considered a do like a dog, a cat, or a car. It's property. But once it's transferred to another woman, it's under another law. They have no rights once it's transferred. That other woman can get a birth certificate, and it's her baby. Until you prove that that's your baby, like I'm doing right now. I need you to call the government, you know, do something. You know, right now I'm trying to protect other women from what happened to me. We all need to stand up together and say no more. You're going for IVF. You, you want to have a child for you, not for someone else. That's not what you're going there for. But when doctors are abusing their power and this nurse that ran out of the embryo room with my last embryo to get her pregnant in December of 2018. I paid for a transfer. I paid for the retrieval. I paid for the medication. I paid for everything. Where is it that I agreed to share my cycle with another woman. I didn't. This was done without my knowledge or my consent. My child was stolen. She was on her sixth transfer in December. I met her and her husband in November of 2018, coming out of the transfer room. You know, they met my son. They go, you're so lucky. She goes, she was upset, you know. She had to give away one of her embryos. I told her, embryos are property. The husband told her to shut the fuck up. You know you're not allowed talking about this. 
I did tell the doctor. He goes, I can't talk about other uh, clients. Embryos are property, I told him. You know, and here was not that he's giving away my embryos. I doubt that he gave it away. But to steal my embryos out of the transfer room and then set up a fake transfer in February. No. It's like, and I got a hold of my blood test results. When embryos are transferred into the uterus, it, like, it releases a chemical called HCG. And even if the test is negative, you should have some HCG in your blood that is traceable, where an embryo w was there. And my blood tests, all of them, are untraceable. So he didn't even do a transfer in November like he said. Right now, I've, I've been robbed, um, have my child stolen. If you were me, what would you do? Would you fight and ask for justice? Right now, this little boy is two and a half. By the time this gets cleared up, he'll be four or five. How are you going to tell him that he was stolen as a son? That this isn't his mother or father? He was never supposed to be that. He was stolen. How do you tell him that? That you were kidnapped? Right now, everything is playing out. And right now, it's like asking for reform. We need reform in Canada, a new law for IVF to color in that gray zone, to stop abuses, stop these clinics from getting rich on our children. Literally, they're selling our embryos that we create no one gives away anything out of the goodness of their heart. Everything has a dollar sign to it. And unfortunately, this is what it is. It's money and abuses. Because doctors are not allowed to tell you about other clinics where you can adopt embryos, ovum, sperm. You have to find everything out on your own. And if you're not aware of anything, then you're going to take what the doctor is offering you. If he says that he has embryos and it's going to cost you X amount of dollars to do it, you're going to jump at it because you want that baby. But you're not looking at it. You're taking it away from another woman without her knowledge, without her consent. An embryo has to go through an adoption process with a lawyer to release parental rights and then you take responsibility of an adoption on these and any child that will come from it. That was bypassed. My embryos were taken without my knowledge and without my consent. Yes, I'm grateful for him telling me that it happened, but it doesn't justify him stealing my embryos. I want justice. I want that nurse criminally prosecuted. I want her to pay for what she did. Because I will never let it go. Right now, I'm doing this the right way. Going to the police, making it done. Justice will be served. Regardless on how it's dished out. I'm waiting for the police to go to the prosecutor. The prosecutor needs to see this. They need to do DNA testing. Because DNA doesn't lie for anybody. It tells the truth in black and white. Right now, I'm demanding an investigation on the clinic. The records to be going through these people to be found out. If they couldn't pass 
and adoption process of embryos or a child. This doctor bypassed it and put this child in an unhealthy home. All it is, a home study is a social worker going into your home, seeing how you live, and if you can financially support this baby that will be created. And if you can't pass that, then you don't deserve to have that child until you change your life. And right now, my child was given into a home without a home study. I didn't give up my parental rights, nor would I agree to, because I was using it to create another child. I am disgusted with the system, disgusted with everything. I have been calling every single government office and everybody refers me back to college to medicine, which is quality of care. They don't do anything for you. They don't protect your property. Who protects your property? The government has to step in to say this is wrong. And if you're doing IVF right now, I hope your doctor is reputable and he has a conscience. Because a lot of doctors don't have conscience. They go to bed at night and they sleep just fine, knowing what they're doing. And right now, they need to be found out. They need to be brought to justice. We need the police to actually investigate. And that's why I'm putting it on YouTube. I need public outrage to say this is wrong and it shouldn't happen. Protect women who are doing IVF right now where their children won't be stolen. You know, children are the most vulnerable people in our society. Let's protect them. Because there's many unhealthy people out there that want children and it's not for the right reason. Let's find out what kind of home they put my child in. Because they didn't do an adoption of my embryos. They were stolen. I am reaching out to every man and woman that ever did IVF to say, could this happen to me? And how would I feel? Would I do what this woman is doing right now, exposing her life on public media? And the answer would be yes. Because any mother or father that's worth their grain of salt in this world would protect their child. And it's not okay what was done to me. I don't feel sorry for these people because they're common thieves. You know, yes, they paid the doctor, but that doesn't clear them of wrongdoing. If someone broke into your house and stole your jewelry and your personal possessions and your next door neighbor bought it, would you want your possessions back? Ask yourself. The answer would probably be yes. So I'm asking you to contact Justin Trudeau and tell him we need law. And all the other parties have to get on board with this and say we need to reform this. And before the government starts paying for IVF for women to conceive children, this law should be in place to protect them. They don't deserve to have their children stolen. And you know what? It's simple as that. There's Snowflake Foundation that does adoption and home studies and qualifications of these parents. And if they don't qualify, crooked doctors like my doctor that lied to me and said that they destroyed my embryos and actually gave it to them and then double dipped into what I knew about. Where's the justice? 
Right now, I have two beautiful children. I have a 20-month-old daughter and a three-year-half-year-old son. And I have a two-and-a-half-year-old son that was stolen. I want him back. And no, right now, there's hundreds of children out there that were stolen. Ask these people, do you want your baby back? You know, if these people were made to take DNA testing and your DNA came up, do you want your child? The answer would probably be yes. You know, these children are going to be affected. And we only have the doctors to blame for this because they should have never done those transfers. So help me reform the system. Get the word out what happened to me. I will be posting and trying to get my word out there. Get some justice. Thank you.